Ren is a major player in the European energy landscape. How would you summarize its business focus going forward? Well, Ren will stay uh, focused in its core business activities, which I remind you are um, uh, the transmission of electricity and the high pressure transportation of natural gas. And uh, our focus will be on um, giving a uh, contribution to the integration of European energy markets on one hand and on the other hand we are also pursuing uh, the internationalization of, of the company. So for the first time in its history the company is um, starting to develop activities abroad inclusively outside of the European Union. Of course REN has been responding to what are quite challenging market conditions. What's the outlook? I would say it's uh, better than average, uh, given that the demand for um, energy infrastructures stays robust, uh, mostly because uh, there's a lot of integration of renewable energy to be, to be uh, done, and also because a lot of our investments have to do with security of energy supply, which is one of the biggest concerns in Europe and I would say even beyond Europe. Let's stay with renewable energy. What are your priorities there? Well, uh, we have to make sure that the integration of all the new renewable generation that is uh, coming online is done without uh, putting into question the reliability of the overall supply. You know that wind farms are great as far as um, their contribution to CO2 is concerned, but they have a, a small problem. Wind does not, uh, is not a constant source of energy, so we have to make sure that the overall system stays stable and reliable in spite of the variations of um, weather conditions. So let's look at the balance sheet. What is REN's financial profile? Well, REN is uh, viewed and uh, justly viewed as a very robust company and um, we uh, take pride in that and we are keeping that as an absolute characteristic that differentiates REN from other companies. We are a very solid, financially conservative company. As we know, REN has been recognized as a regional leader in terms of transparency and sustainability. What's the company's take on those areas? Well, we have um, um, take a, a lot of uh, we have taken a lot of attention to everything that concerns uh, corporate governance, uh, transparency of procedu procedures. Um, we, you know, we deal with uh, thousands of stakeholders um, all over the territory, and so we are very much uh, focused on building a very good relationship with all local communities in uh, building and sustaining a, a good image as some, someone that is very much concerned with the environment and with the um, uh, quality of life of local communities. So how do you begin to fit sustainable research and development into the business plan? I would say that Research and development is a uh, part of our day-to-day -day activities. Um, from the way we launched the uh, public consultations for um, the construction of our overhead lines or, or our pipelines, we, we introduce in the program of those consultations all the concerns that we have with keeping uh, a good relationship with all the, in the, the people that interface with our day-to-day uh, -day activities. So it's part of the culture of, of, our, of our company and we are uh, pushing even further this awareness of uh, the quality of life that we must sustain with everybody that interacts with us. And you take a very similar approach to corporate social responsibility? Absolutely. Um, we have recently been awarded uh, several prizes concerning um, social corporate responsibility. We take pride in that. We were placed in the tier one of European utilities in those areas. And um, 
I would also add a feature that uh, it's also important for us, which is the promotion of uh, technological skills, uh, technological research, and the spread of that knowledge. We have um, a nearly award call, called the uh, RAN Awards, which are uh, an important event in our corporate life, and uh, we are very keen on uh, that feature as well. Rui Kata Show, thank you very much. Thank you.